Hey everybody, we're back. Um, I kind of screwed up this video a little bit. I forgot to uh, uh, record anything here. <laughs> uh, we're working on the old. I got her registered, so she's good to go. Insured, registered, driving. Um, got the new tires on. I bought some uh, e the cheapest ones on eBay. Galaxy Radial GTs. It's 400 bucks for all four. Delivered. Oh, we got a little problem with one tire. I don't know if I, you guys can see it, but there's a nice bubble right here. And driving down the highway, if you're over 70, you notice this. So I got to definitely call the seller on eBay and see what he says about that. See if he'll give me another one. Which he probably won't. He'll blame the tire installers, which I'm probably going to blame too. Um... See if I get another one. Uh, so far, let's see. Um, I got the, ra the old radiator out, little tiny radiator. That's gone. I fitted the four coral radiator. Fits right in. Everything lines up. Even the tranny lines line up. So I think we're going to be good there. Started doing a tune-up on it. Um, got a new cap and rotor on. Now I'm going to replace all the plugs and wires. This isn't a video on how to do it. This is just more or less a video of what I'm doing to this car. Um, it's stages, you know. Now we're going to get it running pretty good. And then like we said in the other video, we're eventually going to put uh, another motor in it. Um, I'm leaning towards a uh, Vortec, like a 90s truck, Vortec 350, 4 bolt main. Something like that, throw in here with a cam. Get the heads reworked intake four barrel you know nitrous on it like a 125 150 kit of nitrous um yeah turbo 350 or 400 whatever i could get the best deal on and we got to throw a rear end in this thing and we'll see how she rolls but for now we're going to get it running good i'm going to daily drive this thing it actually drives really nice a really nice car um so yeah so i got to start doing these spark plugs this side looks like it's pretty easy. Now in order to, on this 3.8, in order to uh, change your distributor cap and rotor, you gotta pull the EGR, move it out of the way. Not a big deal. Spark plugs are reasonably accessible on this side. This side's gonna be a little bit of a issue. 80s GM. But they're in there. So we'll see how this goes. Might have to take this ball out of the way. Um, other than that, maybe this heater hose comes off. I'll take this off and pull it back out of the way. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Um, let's see, I got a new fuel filter for this thing, which I'm assuming is in here. So we got to stick that in. That's this right here. Yeah, um, new wires, plugs, we're going to do all that. Uh, once all this is done, then we're going to start the gauges. i got to figure out where I'm going to mount them and start running all the wires, get those in there. Then the last thing we'll do is uh, put the radiator in. So there we go. Um, the only other thing I wanted to add right now at this point in the video is the uh, previous owner, Anna, Anna Rita. Uh, when I bought the car, she was in a hospice. Uh, she's in her 90s. And I bought her off her uh, son and daughter-in-law. And she just recently passed away. Uh, last Sunday, I guess, and today's Saturday. Or last Saturday, so it's been a week. So, you know, a little sad to, to hear that she's uh, passed away. But we're going to name this car Anna. That's what the old's name is, Anna Rita. Um, her son said, yeah, I loved it. Love for you to name that. So it's an honor to do that. Um, so yeah, so we're going to work on Anna here, get her going and, um, and go from there. So next time I turn the camera on, will be when I got the plugs all in and we start figuring out how to hook up the, uh, gauges. Like I said, it's not a how to video. It's just what we're doing to this car. Alrighty. So that's it for right now. Bye bye. All right, we're back here. Um, it's probably uh, about a week since the last uh, part of the, the first part of this video I made. 
Um, we're getting some progress. All the gauges are finally hooked up. Nothing's mounted or anything yet. I have to make something for that, but you can see my mess of spaghetti down here. All the wires. Uh, let's get in. Uh, here we go. Everything's wired up, right? I uh, used the right connectors and everything, so we're good here. I'm probably going to put this... I'm going to try to mount it like that somehow. Uh, Electronics, TVs and you can turn that on. Uh, let's see. I put the red lights in. So I think we're going to be okay there. Um, I'm definitely going to have to make something to mount this. Uh, whether I make a step a spacer to go up here to make another piece that will screw into the top of the dash here. I don't know. Uh, one of my buddies is a carpenter and he has one of these little tiny saw things with a real skinny flat blade. Which I might be able to just cut right into here and slide this in and put two bolts or we don't one two three four bolts through I don't know that's for tomorrow <laughs> um yeah but everything's all hooked up um it's all spaghetti mess right now right now but that's okay we'll I'll tie I'll tidy it all up let me get my uh crate here show you underneath this thing um it was all pretty easy to install on um, the ground there's only two grounds and they're right there on the steering column work great um, oil pressure gauge is run by this plastic line it's a mechanical gauge this line right here so oil flows to the back of the gauge and it will tell you what the pressure is and that's running through the firewall right there um, we got two power wires. This one right here, I have mounted. Let's see if I can get this to you guys. See how I have one of those double fuses? Right there. What I did is I plugged into the radio. I took the radio fuse out. I bought this little connector. It's a circuit tap, it's called. And it takes two fuses, one for the gauge, one for the... Uh, the, the fuse I took out uh, what you just take out of the spot and you put it into the um, to that little thing there and uh, yeah ran the power wire to it and so far yeah that works pretty good um, I have to clean up the hole in, in here still so there we go that's this this metal line is the uh, temperature gauge this is the um, oil pressure. And this other one is for the lights to turn on on the gauges only when the um, headlights go on. So we'll take a walk out here. I'll show you guys. Ooh. What I pretty much did was run a wire all the way out, out to here, straight down. And then if you look down here, I spliced that wire into the wire that goes into the par front parking light. So we're actually pretty good now. So when I turn the, just the parking light or the headlights on, the lights on the gauges come on. Um, I use these, use a heat gun on this. Excellent connectors. Did the weather, the weather wrap on there, and then the one underneath here, I also put tape on top of it. So, hopefully, that's pretty good. Yeah, and you use a heat gun to shrink all those, all that stuff. There's a little copper filament inside these. See that copper or that? Uh, I'm not copper. Uh, I don't know what kind of metal that is. In the center there, when you put the heat gun to it, that all shrinks around both wires, and this metal. Uh, that metal thing melts, solders itself, I guess I should say. Oh, so yeah, so we're all hooked up. I just gotta put everything together now. I got wire loom here and all this stuff. It'll be all nice and tidy when I'm done. Here goes the oil fitting setting. Right 
right there. All you do is pretty much take the oil pressure gauge out, oil pressure sensor, or whatever that thing is, uh, take it out. And the uh, gauges come with this kit, you just put it in there, go. I ran the, uh, the nylon tube away from anything that was hot. And it goes across the motor here, down into the firewall. I still have to zip tie it all up and everything, tidy it up, make it nice. Same with this yellow wire here. I'll put looming over everything, so it protects it a little. Um, I started the radiator and I said, let me get um, start videoing some of the stuff we did here. Just because. Once I get the fan and shroud on and everything, probably won't be able to see it. But we got the uh, two training lines bolted right on. And that's it. I'm going to start throwing some of this together. Hopefully we can start it soon. So there we go. Oil change is done too. All the spark plugs, cap rotor wires, all that's changed on this. Um, there's a fuel filter in here. This, this piece right here. This just comes out. There's a fuel filter. It slides out with the spring behind it. Put the, new, uh, put the spring back in, fuel filter in, done. Cap rotor wires, uh, plugs, done. Yeah, and so that's where we're at right now. So the next part of the video will be when I um, actually get the thing started, I guess. We'll see. We'll go from there. All right, so that's it for now. Bye. All right, hey, we're back at it. Um, it's probably a couple weeks later since that last update I made. So I don't even know where the hell I left off. Ah, my dog's got a bark. Uh, so, yeah, we got her all done. New tires are on. I think it looks pretty good. Nice. Uh, I gave it a good wash. I did a spray bottle of wax on it real quick. Yeah, but she's looking pretty good. Bumper, we put some fresh duct tape on it. I still haven't been able to find one, which really sucks. Um, what size tires did I put on here? I think these were... Uh, the original ones were like 195, 75, 14s. I think these are 205, 70, 14s. Something like that anyways. I might have said it earlier in the beginning of the, of the other sections of the video here. There we go. Got her all cleaned up. Gauges are in. I couldn't find any blue floor mats, so I put a set of uh, $17 um, AutoZone mats in here. They're black, but hey, it'll work for now. I don't want to wreck the carpet. Headliner's all still full of uh, tacks. Pretty good. A little psychedelic. We'll go around on the other side, check out the gauges. Yeah, in this garage, I don't have any uh, chrome polish to do the bumpers or the stainless steel windows uh, surrounds. We'll get to that one day. It's not even the beginning of summer yet, so. Yeah, so here goes the gauges. Nice clean install. Fire it up real quick. Ah. It's ice cold. I just backed it out of the garage. We got oil pressure. The volts is a little high, but hey, that's what it is. I don't know. I mounted it like this, drilled holes in the uh, dashboard here. This whole piece right here, it goes all the way around this whole surround. That comes off and it's easily replaceable. So someone ever wanted to really restore this thing, which I doubt it, it's a four door. Not many people want four doors. But you can easily buy another piece, another one of these and put it in here. So it's not like that's a big deal or anything. Um, let's see, I never hooked up any of the dummy lights right here. So what I did was I, when I pulled this off to mount the gauges, there's only four bolts that hold this uh, gauge cluster on. I pulled the full four bolts off, 
I didn't pull it all the way out, but I pulled it enough so I can get to the light bulbs in the back. And this top one up here, and I think there was one over here. Um, what I did was I took the bulbs out. I took the, it's a, it's a bulb and a connector. And what I basically did was um, just pull that connector out, took the bulb out, and I put the connector back in. So there you go. We don't have any uh, idiot lights lighting up on us here. But yeah, she runs good. Oh, one thing I screwed up over here. Ah, uh, as I was working on underneath the hood there, the power window on the driver's side stopped working. So I put a new power window in. I already had it in a garage here, so put it in. Um, works great. Now the thing flies. Let's see. And it was uh, that was an original window in here. It's never been changed because I had to drill out the holes. Now watch the passenger side one. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a little bit slower than this one over here. So I have a feeling that one's going to be breaking on me soon enough. Uh, let's take a look under the hood. Temperature gauge is starting to work. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. I shut the door. I put the green bulbs in. Uh, the green cover over the bulbs. Gave you a choice of the regular light. The uh, regular light with no cover on it, red or the green. I guess I like the green the best. So let's pop the hood, and uh, we'll be right back. Before we're right, before we're right back. What I forgot to mention was, I didn't take this piece off correctly. What you're supposed to do is remove this bottom section because this, these two pieces, this and this down here where you see this line, are two are two separate parts. So what you got to do is put this. When, you, when you're pulling this out, take the bottom section off first, and there's two clips under here to pop this off. I didn't know that. I thought it was like these buttons. And what I did was, boom, I ripped it, and I broke the freaking uh, the clips that hold this on. So I got to order another bezel. Take this back off again. Put the right clips in there. You know what I mean? Line it all up, then put it back on. I'm good to go, which I will do. go pretty much all tidied up this goes down to the oil pressure sensor right here I removed the oil pressure sensor I ran that nylon uh, tubing all the way to the back of the gauge it's mechanical then I put this cover over it and that's good this yellow wire right here is connected to to the parking light and that turns on the lights on the um, gauges yeah down here the temperature gauge is right there that shiny uh, temperature line and then I sealed up the uh, hole along with I have uh, two rubber grommets in there yeah so that's it we're going to end this section of the uh, of this video anyways right here. This is probably long enough. So yeah, that's the car. She runs good. I'm going to start daily driving it. Uh, next thing we're probably going to do is get the AC working on this and then go from there. So um, yeah, I got a big project though. I'm in the middle of, uh, I got to paint, finish painting my house. So that's going to take a couple weeks right there before I'm able to get back to anything. Anyway, so that's it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.